Hi guys, here's my review of episode 5 of season 6 of Dexter. Uh, and the basic plot line of this episode, uh, entitled The Angel of Death, is that Dexter runs a background check on Travis, Professor Geller's assistant, uh, and discovers that uh, he's a former student of Geller. And he only finds this out because of the unique paper that she used in creating the angel wings that uh, the woman was wearing when she was uh, dressed up uh, as the uh, Jesus Christ in the crucifixion uh, trap. Um, also, Batista and Quinn go and they find this other professor, Professor Porter, who had a relationship with Professor Geller while he was at the university. The other thing that happens in this episode that I thought was quite interesting was the relationship between Dexter and Brother Sam continues to develop. And Dexter does something I've never seen him do in the entire series, uh, at least not to this degree. He divulges the death of his mother uh, to Brother Sam, and that kind of tells us that Brother Sam has become a very trusted figure in Dexter's world. Also, um, we see Deborah struggling with the fact that she doesn't like to work in her office. And the psychologist uh, that was mandated by her department to visit her because she fired her gun when she killed that guy, or I'm sorry, not killed, uh, injured that guy in the club she was in when um, Quinn was going to propose, uh, decided to come in and talk to her about her life. And she just had a breakdown. Um, it was very interesting to see Deb finally admit that she's a little bit in over her head. I love Jennifer Carpenter as an actress in Dexter just because of the range of emotion that shows on her face in every single uh, episode that she's in. She always is kind of a take charge, uh, kind of a guilt-free person, but she's having a lot of pressure put on her now that she's lieutenant, and I really love that the writers put her in that role. Um, Travis and Professor Geller continue to butt heads on the idea of God and his purpose in kind of restarting the world over. And uh, that dynamic between the two of them is less boring than it was the last couple of episodes. It started to become a bit interesting now. But the one thing I have to say is I really don't believe Professor Geller is a credible killer. He doesn't feel, you know, like the Trinity killer or the Ice Truck killer or even... Uh, that chick, Lila, in season two of Dexter, they all felt very scary and very prominent. And this Professor Geller character just doesn't scare me at all. Um, I thought the episode was well done. It's just that I don't believe him as a credible, you know, evil villain or a threat, even though he is uh, doing all these <laughs> revelation killings. Um, I think it's a great... Um, episode, but not as good as the one I previously reviewed, uh, episode four. Um, I think that Dexter is continuing to improve as a series, which is really an accomplishment and a compliment to the writers uh, who are able to keep this character evolving over six seasons. Um, I think that the show has a lot of life left in it, and it just continues to impress me. But I want to know what you guys thought. Did you like episode five? the angel of death, or did you think it could have gone in a different, more unique direction? Also, I want to comment on one other thing. I think the death of Brother Sam is tragic, and I think if this is the end of the character, most death played uh, Brother Sam quite well, and I was rather shocked to see him get shot three times in his own shot. I hope that even if he is dead, that he plays a sort of consciousness for Dexter, much like Harry does uh, for the series. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Please don't forget to let me know what you thought of The Angel of Death, uh, Episode 5, and uh, I'll be back with a review of Episode 6 in about an hour. See you guys later. Bye.